So if you're looking for a way to optimize your PoE2 settings and basically improve or fix uh, your CPU performance, well, there are a few things that you may want to consider. So I'm assuming you already did the basics here, like for example, going to your settings, going to your options, and going to your graphics here. So the most important section is uh, uh, you need to maybe like reduce the quality so of your uh, game. So for example, if uh, you are running in higher qualities, like for example, uh, quality is, uh, if you put this in ultra performance, maybe they just do performance. So I'm already uh, assuming you already did this, so you already, uh, but if you haven't, I would recommend you to first like lower the quality first. So mine, I have this in quality because uh, uh, we all know that Path of XL2 has a lot of mobs. And if you have like a lot of explosion happening on your screen, that's not good so that will uh that will not help you when you're doing maps so yeah so first reduce the quality here so maybe like from performance go to balance and see if that helps now also you may want to reduce the detail settings here like if by the def by default you have this on high maybe use medium instead uh texture filtering here you could go and choose like times eight and uh, also uh other sections like like for this one like go and choose low but uh, sometimes that doesn't help like if you make this low there are other uh certain or which is weird enough here uh if you notice like you should notice some uh spikes in your game or in the performance of it would uh basically not help if suddenly someone chats so this is an example if someone chats uh, in your window here or you, you start receiving some chats uh, usually this will spike or this will not help your CPU at all. So and it will slow you down and you will notice a spike. So let's give you some ideas. Go to our options. Like you'll notice a spike in here in your chat window when, when someone actually chats or if a lot of people are chatting in the global uh, window. So what I would recommend you try doing is you want to go and just press enter on your keyboard and just basically change or go to a different uh, chat like for example join like global 100 press enter so you should be able to join that chat and see if no one is chatting in a window so again if a lot of people are chatting on a specific lobby or that channel that would spike so that would spike your or that would uh you'll notice a spike in your cpu so changing uh chats is a great, great thing here to avoid that which is really enough so another thing is you want to go to your settings Go to options. You want to go to sound. Now, this one is really weird as well. So, if you go uh, for the section here. So, let's go ahead and choose the channel count here. So, you want to ch change this to low. And you want to also change the revert enabled here. And you want to go and just disable this. Now, once you've done that, let's go and click on save. It's going to say you must restart part of Excel in order for your sound channel to count change to take effect. So you can go ahead and just click on OK here to uh, basically have that or to make that happen. But that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.